with our, our free our 360 uh, camera input uh, module and obviously you've got like a head unit over here you can obviously this can be going to a head unit or a different screen um, has RCA inputs uh, it can handle like, AHD uh, cameras in a wide range of camera formats so basically this is just a quick overview of our video how it does work and what happens so from the from the unit itself you obviously have an main like module here coming off of it you need a ground and a 12 volt a power source so preferably an ACC power source so it comes when the keys on then you've got trigger wires here so you've got a, like a, a right indicator a left indicator and a reverse trigger wire here um, so if you put a 12 volt onto like any one of these, it's it's straight away gonna show the camera from that. So for example, if the 12 volt I went to the right indicator blinker, so if you put 12 volt on here, it would show the a right camera input. And that is what you'd be seeing on your screen. So that's how like those work. Now they don't have to be used, they can be used. Uh, like some people use them obviously, for example, uh, they hook it up to the indicator, they put the indicator on, and it shows that. Um, so here we've just got two cameras hooked in, like left and uh, the rear. So you can see on here if I put push left, you can see we change our camera, and I push back, changes like the rear camera. So this remote, which has a CR battery in it, just like a normal a watch battery, I will do that as well. And you can just like stick that on your dash wherever you want. It's our wireless, so that is pretty easy. So that allows you to s switch between the four cameras. Now, this will not work if uh, any of these have 12 volt on them. For example, if there is 12 volt on the um, left indicator wire here, I won't be able to use this here. So I'll explain what I mean. So this is the left indicator, which is the camera that is not shown at the moment. So I'm gonna put 12 volt onto this uh, a left indicator one, and you'll see we change camera. Now, if I were to push those buttons in the controller right now, it wouldn't let me do anything. Um, and then we take the 12 volt off again, and it just goes back to your uh, rear camera by default. So that's sort of how that side of the equation works. Then obviously coming down here, you've got your four inputs. Um, you can have a four camera hooked up. They have these wires here. So these wires, for example, if we are sh I'm showing the rear camera, it is gonna be transferring 12 volt onto this line here. So if you're not using these, just like tape them up and put them out of the way. Um, so they don't obviously like earth on anything. But if you did need to like use it, because like sometimes you are using an, an extension cable like that, and you can actually send uh, power uh, back down to the camera um, from this uh, source here. So it does allow you to get uh, power back to your camera, and then you can just like uh, earth the camera to the chassis at the other end or whatever you need to do. So, th so that's pulling a power from here and it will only put power onto the a camera that has been selected on the screen. So at the moment, it's, if I show the back camera, so we'll have 12 volt on here, all these other wires will have no power on them. So that's how that sort of works out like that end. Now, the f our first time you power up the car, what actually happens is it will, by default, show the front camera and then it will show the rear camera. Um, so I will take 12 volt off this for now. And then I'll put it back on and I'll trigger reverse. And you'll see I might get no signal because it was on, on the front camera, but then I get the rear camera showing. So basically, uh, by the time the car starts up, you're always going to pretty much be seeing the reverse camera. So you're going to see the reverse camera by default. Um, and that's just how like, it works. Um, but for example, if I, if I, if I like, switch to using our button here, and then I came out of reverse, 
and it went back into reverse, it would still be on that same a camera because like this over overrides it and it, it holds it like memory. However, if we turn the car off and back on, it would then be it, be, it would then be showing the back camera by default. So that is basically how it works. Um, obviously, if you're not in reverse and you're using one of our head units, you do have to open up the uh, FCAM app. And it is in the, like a rear a feed. So you'd have to do uh, that if you wanted to uh, view the measure uh, we're driving along. Um, you can do this slightly quicker as you can teach a steering wheel control button. Um, for example, I'll just teach one here to open up an app and I'll tell it to open up the FCAM app. Do we have that on here yet? Ah, no, sorry, that's that. That isn't on this version, but it should be. I like Normally you'll have the FCAM in here and you can choose that from a steering wheel control um, and that will just like allow you a quick way to open it up. But that is like basically how this like 360 or 4 camera uh, input system works.